And how does your perspective give meaning to people's distress experiences, uh, for example, such as hearing voices? Mm. I think that symptoms of mental... I'm tempted to say... But I don't really want to say symptoms of mental illness because most often the things which people experience are actually not part of illness. But if I say that some of the features which, which are traditionally described as being features of mental Ill, illness are not that uncommon within the general pop population. So there have been a lot of studies which have looked at um, the number of people in the general population who hear voices. And they've come up across around about sort of 15% of people, of the general population, um, do hear voices from or have heard voices. And if you look specifically at young people, it's up to 25% of young people have heard non-drug related voices at, at, at some stage uh, in their life. So, and also when you think about symptoms of anxiety, symptoms of depression, they're very, very common in our everyday lives. We all experience ups and downs. But the, with some people, either in terms of the environment they find themselves in, in terms of their previous experiences, um, or in terms of any sort of genetic loading, somehow find that, that these quite, these symptoms or these experiences which are actually part of the experience of normal life actually become stuck or they become clinically relevant. So there's something which just develop into a bit of a vicious circle of their own and people can't can't shake them off. I think coming from that from that position where I feel that a lot of these symptoms can be experienced by people without necessarily having to have a diagnosis of mm. mental Ill, Ill, illness really puts people who do develop these more persistent or severe problems as part of a continuum of normality rather than as sort of somebody who's got something that I haven't. So it's just somebody who's got more of more of what I've got, or or has sort of got something which, um, yeah, I might have been able to uh, to deal with. So I think that that's 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 the position where I where I come from. So your approach would be, uh, in order in order to make their experiences more acceptable in a way, yeah, and therefore more meaningful uh, in terms of the recovery process and the way they're working with you on that. I think it, it's, it is a major advance in the way that we support people with schizophrenia, that in the past people's delusions and their hallucinations were seen as not understandable, and that was the definition of a delusion, it was a belief that was just wasn't understand, and understandable. Well, I think we've come to realise with the help of our psychology colleagues that uh, the majority of symptoms that people experience have some sort of grounding either in personal experience or in, or in personality or in terms of cultural references. It's far fewer people talk about um, demonic possession now in, in terms of symptoms of schizophrenia. A lot more of it to do with sort of internet bugging and, and brain chips. So uh, again it, it's very culturally as well as personally um, sense, sense, sensitive. Mm. So that would be important to uh, in terms of your work with carers as well, liaising with carers it would be, and yes. uh, the person hearing the voices as well. And I think it also gives people more of a target in terms of recovery. And recovery for um, a proportion of people may not involve a complete remission of sy symptoms. And if people or their carers or even their doctors see it as being you've either got something or you haven't got something, you can get very disappointed uh, in terms of, of of what are often quite meaningful partial responses or a response which may take a, a long time, um, but if you if you look at it in terms of you're here, let's try and move you to to here, or where would where would you need to be in order to be enjoying life, in order to be uh, you know, doing all the normal things, the relationships, going out and 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 getting and getting work work, so people can feel um, very pleased with themselves when they've made the progress, which is I, I guess important to them, rather than me saying no, all the symptoms have got to be gone, and you've got to be off medication, and only then can I say that that, that the job is is done. So it's it's a lot more of a flexible uh, approach.